Hurry! Let's get up there, too! I gotta defend Obel now. Okay. So, they have uh, two ships. One is fire and wind, the other is wind and earth. So, we have a fire and wind over there as well, which is helpful. Let's see here. Oh, let's set this up properly. We want... Let's see here, what do I want? Fire is strong against wind, so we want a fire rune. And we also want... a wind rune. This way, if we come across one of them, we can just go, okay, fire to you, wind to you. Um, fire is strong against wind, so we can nullify our counterattack with the other enemy. Wind is strong against earth, we can counter or null uh, nullify their attack. Oops. Kenneth, Mitsuba, Mizuki, and Chiapu. That should do it! <clears throat> um, yeah, stay here for now. Actually. Alright, he's using wind and fire, so we use fire. Let's get this guy quickly. Alright, I know how to do it, okay. Fire, wind. A little too close for comfort, though. Ah, shit. I kind of hope they would have gone for the other ship, or I would have had a turn before then. Fire cannon, fire. Hope it's enough to kill it, or sink it. It is. Wind. Oh, that was easy enough. Yay, new power! <laughs> I'm assuming, anyway. I don't remember if, there is, if, this, if this is one of them. Edgar, that's all you have to say. But I always come back to you. Edgar, this pirate has made quite a name for himself. Let's proceed with caution. Alright, Berendo. Oh, so we're actually in Berendo's uh, memories. We've had uh, stuff up to that point. Hey, Edgar, are you with me? Berendo, something should happen to me. Edgar, damn it, we can't just die here. So yeah, these are, I'm assuming, the remains of um, previous users of the rune. What? That light? Damn it, I'm going home, right, Edgar? Or at least some of them. Because there are quite a few. Help me, hurry, release me from my misery. Alright, sure, I'll kill you again. Signal so killed him, right? So long, Kika. I'll be on the other side with him, raising a toast together. So this means the next one is going to be 
the guy we knew, the commander. Uh, hiya. And saved you at the star set. Hey, Paula. Sweet bunny, okay. Alright, let's go. Let's see here. Uh, after we awake, go to Cliff Pass for next scene. Okay. Hey, I got a question for you. Have any of you thought about who the rune might transfer to next? I mean, what if it's me? What am I supposed to do then, huh? I wouldn't mind if it transferred to me. I really would not want to have it, but I'll try my best to keep it from falling into the hands of someone who would abuse it. Yeah, that's all we can do. <laughs> the kids have quite clever opinions, don't you think? Kids? Ah, hey, I've got things I want to accomplish during my lifetime. But what if my life were eaten away? Then what? Akagi, ultimately life always ends too soon. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Sure, maybe that's what you believe, Mizuki. We should make things clear first. We shall fight together. So the rune will not have to be used. If any of you cannot agree to work together, please leave now. Let us work together and do our best. I believe that is the only thing we can do. Mr. Akagi, do you still intend to leave? Not until this current conflict ends. I'll keep you company until then, all right? I'll be 19 years old this year. Would I still be considered... a kid? Yes, yes, you will. Right, before we go on, let's see if we do get a new room power. We did, Voice of Death. Very fatal enemy, 10% fatal itself. So... <laughs> shit. Basically, you can go, I'm going to kill you. But there's a 1% chance I'll die. Or 10% chance I'll die. Fuck. So, it's pretty helpful. Alright, we gotta go to the, uh, cliff now. For another cutscene. Alright, so I think I have to head back to the ship, not ship, what the hell, the base, and go to the war room on the second floor. Because those are war horns. It's not on the second floor, it's on the first floor? I know there is a war room. Oh! This is where my character roster pops up. Once I get a, once I get a person who actually does the character roster. Uh, your assistance is needed! Master Setsu, what's the matter? Mr. Setsu, don't tell me. That rune on his left hand. Are you asking him to use it again? No! No way! Absolutely not! Forget it! What an awful man you are, taking his life for granted like that. No, no, you've got it all wrong. Please, hear me out. You must let me explain. Oh, 
Huh? Your Majesty! I beg of you, please protect our king and princess. Protect them? Wh what do you mean? Well, they just, uh... Allow me to explain. As you may have already realized, the building you are in now is actually not a building at all, but a very large ship. Huh? <gasps> That's correct. I constructed it under the orders from His Majesty. Relying solely on the royal fleet made me uneasy, so I had it built in secret, never thinking we would have to use it so soon. Anyway, we need to all split up and begin preparations for departure. We may be criticized for fleeing, but it cannot be helped. Unfortunately, this is our only option right now. Will you go out and gather volunteers to join us? I will go, too. All right, but be careful, okay? You'll need to gather the people we can't leave on the island. We'll also need a doctor. Oh, and one more thing. Do not use that left hand of yours under any circumstances, you hear? I only promise to try. <laughs> okay, whoa. Hmm, that shares. Alright, so, as you may have guessed, I've been kind of, um, blatantly saying that this is a ship. Because it is a ship. Hey, buddy. Alright, Flare, awesome. Yeah, must have had Cedric. Let's go! <clears throat> okay, so, we're now going to be stalking the ship with merchants, smiths, basically everything we need. I'll, uh, before we uh, finish this set, I will give a grand tour of the ship once it's all said and done they're not returning fire but it's unlikely that the king of Obel would just sit quietly and surrender uh, sir what should we do we should anticipate that they have some sort of plan in mind tell Colton to search the entire area yes sir I'll relay the message to the second fleet at once I understand. I will do as he says. Okay, then. So we need to get some characters. Keep on running. Plus, this is this is a ship and it is our base. We will be able to start sleeping inside our room at uh, when we weigh anchor, so we can uh, replenish our magics whenever the hell we want to now. Which is pretty helpful. Uh, when you talk to a guy wearing green near the equipment shop, is it you? I guess. And green, the equipment shop recruit him, speak to the two women below the smithy as well. Right, come on, hurry up. All right. Two in below the smithy, which are over here, which is over here. Uh, that's a smith. Two women down here. That's it, okay. okay. 
We're basically getting crew members. Not just um, actual members. Okay, come on, hurry up. Okay, so we have those two. Uh, to do. -do, -do. Well, Smithy allowed them to join as well. Be sure to talk to Adrian near the trading shop and you near the appraiser shop. Alright, so that should be done here, right? Alright, here is the appraiser. You. There's a doctor. And Adrian near the trading shop. Oh, you're the blacksmith from um, Middleport. Okay, okay. So we have a blacksmith now, which is awesome. Uh, let's see, head to the dock area and talk to the man wearing blue. So we're glitching, by the way. We're almost done. Don't worry. Talk to the man wearing blue. Run over here, no. You. Alright, we should back now. So we have everything we need now. Uh, Stock about medicine if you don't have to, and any other items before leaving. Head to the cliff path. I've already stocked up on everything I need. Let's get the hell out of here, then. Running! Oh, yeah, there we go. Like I said, I'll give a, a guide, a, a good tour of uh, the ship once uh, we have everything said and done. The people here need me. It's important. Please tell my father for me, okay? Don't worry! I'll be fine! Hurry on inside! Oh boy, King's not gonna like that. Now nah, he can suck it up. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead to the war room again. If you actually take time and look, you can see that it is a giant ship. The ship is freaking huge, too. Alright, war room. Oh, the place lit up now. Let's do this. Oh, you're here. W where is Lady Flair? No. Don't tell me she decided to stay. What? Why didn't you try and stop Setsu, her? Setsu, it's fine. We need some people to stay on the island, too. She truly takes after her mother. Then I shall also go outside, make sure everything's okay. Everyone, please look after His Majesty. Setsu. Uh, yes, sir? Please take good care of Flair for me. Yes, sir. Also, tell the remaining citizens... ...to just hang in there for now, okay? I will. Are we ready to go? All right. Any 
news? Yes. According to Sir Colton's message, the people in the area are gathering at the wharf. What shall we do? The wharf? Something's going on. I'll go see for myself. Inform the other ships to stand by, and stay alert. Yes, sir. is headed this way! <laughs> Hurry! Hurry up and escape! I will take care of this! Hey there! Over here! I'm over here! Right here, guys! Do you need a target to aim for? Okay, I've got one! Aim for this! Hmm? What's that? <laughs> what does he think he's doing? There's something in that vicinity. Search the area carefully. <laughs> Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Hurry! Everything on our end is ready, sir. Good. This is it. We've got only one chance at this. You're in charge here. When you're ready, give the order to set sail. has collapsed no there's something inside prepare to fire the rune cannon yes sir Shall we pursue them? Damn it. There's no time. We'll take care of the ship later. All hands, prepare to make landfall as planned. Yes, sir! Right now? We won't stand a chance against their fleet. Flair, Setsu, everyone, I'm sorry. Please hold on just a while longer. I will return to the kingdom, I swear. We will now establish an interim Kuluk government here. This will benefit not only Kuluk, but everyone on the island. <laughs> Yeah! yeah! Hail to yeah! Troy! Hail to Troy! Hail to Troy! Hail to Your Majesty, please be safe. Uh. 
That was a lot of weird stuff. Alright, now we can explore the ship. Gotta talk to everyone on board. We have a huge freaking deck, though. Holy hell. Alright. Can I... Nope, no way anchor. I'm fine, don't worry. Whoop. Uh, okay. I apologize for the glitchiness, by the way. It's almost done. What's with the bird? Okay. I'm assuming he's our, uh, our, sort of like our spy master or something. Alright, we have someone up here. Nico. My name is Nico. And I personally ordered by the, <laughs> by His Majesty the Stand Guard over the ship. I look forward to working with you. I think he automatically joins our group. Whoop. Alright. Well, that's, uh, Chiapu. Kika. It is the pirate Kika. You... you think she's looking for a fight? If it is Kika, I don't think she'd be looking for trouble. I was watching. I saw your battle. <laughs> you call that a battle? It's more like we just ran away. We are about to return home. You should come with us. What should we do? I doubt we have much choice. We have to follow him. Which we'll do later on. But this is our ship. This is our new floating mobile base of death. Do I have a, uh... Yeah, and that's the part where we're going to next. But first, let's explore our, our new baby. <clears throat> so we've seen the deck. A lot of nice stuff there. Our room. Ah, I love it. Well, let's do our first sexual save for a while. Jeez. I think now that I have this set up, I actually can decorate, too. I can! Awesome! Good luck, cat. Meow. <laughs> That's awesome! And then if I have stuff I can put on the wall, I can as well. Oh, man, I forgot about that. Actually, I don't think I even knew about this. This is awesome! Alright. All right, so let's actually explore the ship. There are five floors, as far as I can tell. Empty rooms, and these rooms will be filled up once we get uh, new characters to join us. Alright, so at the saloon, second floor, we have Paralot. What's this? I'm assuming we'll get that later on for something. Oop. Here's Paralot. He'll have our newspapers if we want to read them, which has information about stuff that's happened. Uh, we have a bar here. Hello. So I'll make sure you have a, the ability to form up to three parties. You can switch them during combat. How can you do that? Oh, that's pretty wicked. No, but you can only switch while we're on this ship, okay? okay? Okay. So we can actually change... We can actually have up to three parties if we're on the ship, which makes things easy. Or easier. Paula... Mizuki, Mitsuba. There we go. All right, so that's that. There's Oron, who does just random shit. Oh, Rita, if you want to, if you want to gamble. Her game, by the way, is based on is basically mahjong. If you're good at that, you can beat her pretty easily. All I have to do is get rid of all of her money to get her. Okay, here's Raki. The roster of all the characters we can get. Oops, sorry. As well as their, um... Status in the thing. I can't really remember what the each individual star means. Well, this way you can see their icon. As well as their stats if they are a fighting character. 
So it makes things easier for us. Uh, here's the war room. Let's go down. <clears throat> here's the third deck, which is our shops and whatnot. Give her a new hammer, which allows her to upgrade our gear better. Strength and gear. We could also uh, make armor, strip armor, if we have the materials for it. Which is helpful. And when we get the final hammer, which I believe is the golden hammer, we can actually create some pretty rare stuff. Come on, see how high I can go. Nine's the highest I can go. Okay, good to know. I'll work on that later on. Uh, over here... is our... basic shop. With some good gear. With some gear. Not bad. I'll look at that later. That'll be the appraisal later on. Not sure who this will be. Here's a bar. Can I talk to you? Crew members. Empty room, empty room, empty room. This will come. This actually will come in helpful later on. If you know your Japanese layouts, you know what this room's going to be. <laughs> All right. So so far, we only have those two down here, though. We'll get more merchants as we progress through the game, obviously. Uh, this is the fourth deck. There is nothing here of actual interest yet. This is where most people will actually be, though. Doctor's room. He'll restore us so we don't have to actually sleep if we don't want to. Come on, rotate. There we are. And down here on the final floor, we have the last things we can do which are pretty helpful. Uh, which room is this? Empty. Accessory. This is where Lilin works. She's our accessory shop manager. But we have to make the stuff for now. Alright. So that's that. Ooh. This is Shipwright's room, which is actually pretty helpful. This is Tov's room. With him, we actually can customize our ship's layout. Right now, we only have the base um, ship of Obel. But later on, we'll get different stuff. We can customize, we can change different things. Um, Ocean Runes, which allows us to sail faster. Uh, shooting distance allows us to attack more. Mobility, armory, stuff like that. Basically, we'll get these as we, pro as we progress with uh, Ocean Runes, I believe. Um, we'll also be able to change the appearance of the ship as well. Like, we can actually get straight up black sails, which is awesome. And we're a pirate, so, kind of helpful. Um, if memory serves, we get those through the treasure maps we've been getting. And lastly, that's where we can control, don't even worry about that. We have a jail cell, which is awesome. Of course, we have to have a brig. Training hall. We can go in here and talk to Reinhold to uh, get some practice battles in. So pretty helpful. That's pretty much it for now, though. I'm going to uh, just dick around and go, go sell some shit. But for now, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the set, and I'll see you guys next week. Till then, have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.